Hey Google admins, this is Goldie again. In this video, let's talk about Google's newly launched functionality called Context Aware Access for Google Admin Console. Now, as you know, Google Admin Console is the place where you go ahead and uh, go and take care of your identities, create users, groups, members, etc. So regardless whether you are using Cloud Identity or Google Workspace or Google Cloud Platform or in fact any other Google uh, Enterprise application, you will be dealing with Google Admin Console because that's where you manage all your identities. With this new launch, you should be able to apply context aware or conditional access policies to admin console. So for example, you can leverage user context, which IP address is user coming from, which geographic location is the user coming from. You can also leverage device context, like what's the device posture? Is this device encrypted? Is it running minimum operating version X, Y, Z or not? Is it a company owned device or a personal device? And based on that, you can then say whether with that specific context, an admin would be able to access Google Admin Console or not. Now, before I show this step-by-step -step demonstration, let's talk about the logistics that you should have in place. Number one, you should be uh, running Google Workspace Enterprise Standard or Plus, or you should have Google uh, Workspace Education Standard or Plus. If you have Cloud Identity, maybe if you're just using Google Cloud Platform, then this is only available in Google Cloud Identity Premium. Okay, you should be uh, a super admin to uh, set this up. If you have a reseller in place who is taking care of your Google Workspace or GCP, then they can also help you do that. And finally, you should be very cautious, very careful when applying the conditional access to admin console to avoid the lockout. So there are some best practices that I read on Google's help article. The first one is that you must review the policy before applying it. You should really pay some attention to messages uh, that Google will show when you're applying the conditional access to admin console to make sure that you uh, are minimizing the chances uh, to uh, lock out. And finally, you know, you should uh, prefer applying policies to groups than to individual users. And last but not least, uh, make sure you have access to Google's uh, support portal. Just in case if you, you know, miss anything and, and there is lockout, you should be able to reach Google support team uh, so that they can help you with unlocking uh, and letting you access Google Admin Console. So with that in place, now let's uh, configure conditional access or context of your access for Google Admin Console. So here is my Google Workspace or Cloud Identity Admin Console. I'll go to security here. Under security, you will need to go to access and data control, and then you will be clicking on context of your access. Uh, make sure it's turned on, and the first step is to create a new access level. So we will call it uh, allow access from US only, and you can give it a description to make it contactual so that another admin who is looking at it should be able to understand it. Now, when you're applying conditions, there are two ways. You can either apply the basic conditions, uh, which means you can do it via the user interface with the you know, simply adding the attributes. You can also create a advanced condition by leveraging a common expression language. I'll put some uh, links uh, below this video so you can make yourself aware of those. For now, just to keep this short, I'll go with basic condition and I will say uh, the geographic location uh, is, let's say, uh, uh, United States. Where is it? Okay, so I uh, let's say if our company only operates uh, uh, in the United States and all our admins are here and I want to make sure that nobody else should be able to access admin console other than the admins coming from United States. So if you want, you can add more attributes such as what is the IP subnet of the uh, requester or device policy, what's the operating system, and you can also combine other access levels that you have created in the past. Okay, so with that, I'll just uh, say that users should be able to access 
uh, admin console if uh, they're trying uh, from United States. So I'll click on save. Uh, once you have it saved, then you will go to the second level, which is to assign that access level. Now here, uh, other than the applications which are workspace native apps like Gmail Drive, you will also see third-party SAML applications that you have configured like Asana and others. Uh, but at the top here, you will see this new bar coming up which says Admin Console. It says Continuous uh, Evaluation Point, and when I say continuous, it's not like you just authenticate once and then after that it just you're you're assumed as authenticated in case if there was a change in your context for example in my policy which is to only allow access from united states if i log in now maybe i'm sitting at airport somewhere leaving us i should be able to access but when i land to some different country uh, my context changes and at the next attempt, next API call, it will read the context and revoke my access. So it's, it's like a continuous evaluation of the context. So I'll go ahead and click on assign here and here I will see all my conditional access policies that I created. I only have one which is shown here, allow access from US only. I'll go ahead and apply this. Now, it depends in case if uh, the application is available in mobile or desktop apps too. For example, uh, in case if uh, this is specific to Google Admin Console, which also has uh, uh, iPhone application, I think, iPhone and Android both. I'm not sure, but it does have. So if I apply this checkbox, that means this conditional access will also be applicable to those mobile apps. And with that, I will uh, just make sure you're reading these messages and you know be very careful to avoid lockout and then you will go ahead and click on save okay want to save it uh, based on my experience it gets ref uh, reflected pretty soon now it says that one policy applied so I'll go to uh, my admin console here in a new incognito window I'll put my ID and password here and uh, I will do the security key second factor of authentication and I am uh, logged in to my admin console. Okay, now let me use the VPN and uh, log in from some other country. Okay, so I am uh, using the VPN back to my home country in India. Uh, so let's say if I go to admin.google.com on this VPN, uh, I'll enter my email address here I will quickly enter my password okay it says enter your password okay I will do a bit of capture here okay and it says apply the I don't think it's going to work in this VPN server, so I'm going to cancel it and rather take it here and do the MFA this way. Waiting uh, for the message. Okay, I got the code here, so I'm going to enter 835. Three, four, five. Okay, and if the policy is reflected, it's been just a couple of minutes I applied it, I should see a message saying you can't log in because you're not authorized to log in from any country than United States. And as you see, uh, it says you don't have access, okay? But if I go to, let's say, Gmail, uh, or maybe Google Drive or Google Docs from this, I should be able to access because I haven't applied that policy on other applications. So as you see, I'm able to access Google Docs, uh, but not the Google Admin Console. And uh, this is my message, which I added. You can, of course, customize it uh, so that your admins will have more idea. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video, and I'll be happy to collaborate. Thank you so much.